and welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a home educating mum of three from the UK and today I want to give you a extra home education video this week and just talk about a really cool website I found. Um, this is not a paid promotion in any way, it's just a website that I found um, and really really like and have used a lot <laughs> in the last couple of days. I found it, I, grab I bought, made a, a really big order, grabbed loads of stuff and I'm really excited to use it and I thought hey well who else am I going to share this with? I'm going to share it with you lovely people. So the um, website is called Fun Learning Resources, I've put the link in the description and I'm just going to show you some little bit of footage just here so you can ignore the dirty laundry pile because you know everyone's got one of those and look at this overlay. Okay so here's some little things on this website that um, I was having a look at and um, I've got a few of them here to show you so here's just a little look at the website all of the things that are there available and maha that's gone so now I'm going to show you the things that I have printed off now I haven't bound them yet they're absolutely just massive stacks of paper now the first one that I have got to show you is the coastal curriculum now we are really lucky we live in a town that has the forest on one side um, an ancient lovely forest dating back to William the Conqueror and then we have the Jurassic Coast or at least um, one end of the Jurassic Coast on the other side so we we're really really lucky that you know five minutes in either direction north or south we end up somewhere really really fun now I'm not a huge beach person but my kids are and I thought you know what every time yeah. you know what let's all this autumn let's do this coastal curriculum see how we feel about going to the beach once a week I think it would certainly make the kids happy now I don't know if anyone of any one of you have used the exploring nature with children curriculum I really really like it but I feel like it's really heavy there's a lot of stuff to do and I get that it has to be you can pick and choose what you do um, and that you it's going to be designed for younger children and for older children to make sure that everyone's got enough to do if that makes sense to make it viable going on year after year after year but I f always feel really rubbish like I feel like I'm wasting the resource if I don't do a decent amount of stuff on it um, and my kids are not interested in half of the stuff on there and it's a very wordy as well and again my kids just don't have the attention span for dealing with that amount of words so um when I found theirs, they've also got a nature curriculum, which um, I've got here as well. But I'm going to show you the coastal curriculum because it's it's very similar to the Exploring Nature with Children curriculum in the way that it makes you feel. But it's less wordy, there's more pictures, and it really looks like a lovely little brochure. So you've got Welcoming Autumn, Seals, Jellyfish, Autumn Equinox, Trees, Birds, Autumn Flowers, Octopus, Rocks, Ocean Drifters, Fossils and Seaside Communities. Oh, um, so it's got excuse me, uh, seaside code telling you how to behave at the seaside, things like leave animals where you find them, don't remove rocks or sand from the beach, that sort of thing. It's got a little calendar sheet here and then it begins, so you've got, um, this is autumn one and you've got welcoming autumn and um, it says exploring the coast this week in your beach journal and then it's got rabbit hole activity so if you get really interested you can just you know go ahead and do some more and then it's got some books and a little bit of art for you to look at and that's it and then you move on to autumn two which is seals which we don't get a lot of in our area but we can still learn about them that'll be fun and i really think that this light you know oh look at this lovely picture isn't it nice yes it is skip to the next thing you know go on then to the next thing I think it's going to be really useful for my kids and I really think they're going to enjoy it so that is the Making Waves a Coastal Curriculum Autumn Edition they did have a summer edition as well if you want to buy that head ready for next year which I did um, and I'm hoping that they're going to bring out spring and uh, winter and spring as well because if we like it then I'm going to want to buy the whole set so then the other one that I got was the Autumn Curriculum um, they haven't had I don't think they had a summer one of these so I'm hoping that they bring out a winter one hopefully they are uh, busy doing that as they speak and then you've got a bucket list to begin with so you've gone here jump in a pile of leaves autumn crafting make beeswax candles decorate for Halloween which we would call Samhain carve a pumpkin trick or treat make a guy forks build a bonfire light sparklers toast marshmallows drink hot chocolate family movie night make toffee apples right. fly a kite 
And then each page, again, I've got to bind these so we can actually use them. You've got all sorts of lovely activities, brightly coloured, resources to read, to look at, to have a go at, um, observations, all sorts of things. So there's several topics within that. <laughs> Um, and it's not just going to do you like a month or something like that. It's it's going to take you through all the way to December, I think, um, when winter technically begins on Yule or the solstice, which is the 21st. So I really, really like this. I like it way better than Exploring Nature for Children. And um, I would definitely recommend it if you like, want to try a nature study, but maybe you've had Exploring Nature for Children and it's kind of overwhelmed you a little bit or you've never done nature study before and you want to give it a go with any age child this definitely would be a contender i think for that um so where are we? there we go i've printed off a couple of those um the autumn things because i'm going to give one to each child one to each of my children so then the next one it's a pretty hefty resource and i know in our not back to school week which was only a little while ago <laughs> only last week i said that i was going to be using the meet the artists 20 week curriculum and then i found this and it knocked meet the artists out of the contender i just was like nope we're not even gonna do it um and the reason for that is my kids there's a lot of questions in Meet the Artist. I would say it's designed for older children, maybe neurotypical children, because mine are like, why do I care about why Frida's put herself in the middle of the portrait? I don't care. Like, they just want to have a go at maybe copying her style, learning a new style of art. They don't actually care why she did it. Um, and that was a really big thing for me. I was like, oh, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm interested, but like, I'm draw, trying to draw blood out of a stone here and it's just, it's not worth it. You know, the whole point of home education is that it's fun, that it's what they want to learn about, that they are feeling like they are really engaging with it. And if you're like having to drag them through it, then really you need a different resource, I feel like. And I certainly, that is the same for my kids. If I feel like I'm having to drag them along through it, I need a different resource. I need something that engages them, that makes them excited to learn about it. Um, or we just need to pick a different subject. And clearly that was not working for them. So we're gonna give this a try. Hi, Lily. Hi, Lily dog. Can you come say hi to our friends? like no I'm waiting for breakfast um so let's explore our history now I um so the the I'm really really keen that they learn about art history because they are do all like art and I want them to know about other people who've enjoyed art making art in the in the past um in the future because <laughs> uh, we have a time machine I've been watching too much Doctor Who recently um so the first page says before you begin I want you to know that there is no wrong way to use this learning journal use the pages as you feel inspired to use them You'll have a chance to explore these different art movements and styles and then it talks about the, the ones so um i like that i like that they're saying everything you do is art it's really really you know you can use it in any way you like and that makes me happy so the first page is really small and it says prehistoric art is usually found on the walls of ceilings and ca of caves the art they created gives us an insight into the nomadic lifestyle of early humans lay your hand flat on this page and use watered down paint to mark around it so there you go so that gives you no direction that gives you no direction of what color to use or anything like that it's just saying I give a go and then i've not printed these double-sided because obviously we're going to be painting on them and then it says early humans used natural items to make the colors they painted with see how many you can create by crushing and mixing things you find outdoors i'm really excited to have a go at this myself and i really think that um they will enjoy it too I think that this is more their style. It's not going on and on about um, about the artists themselves. It's just talking about, like, this is what they did. You should have a go. Um, try and have a go. Do it in your own way. And I really, really like that. I feel like it's more art and less history and but with a little bit of, it's like art with a bit of history whereas the meet the artist was history with a bit of art and i think that this is way more suited to them so i'm really looking forward to giving this a go um other things you've got in here you've got realism um you've got i know there's pointillism in here which i remember learning about pop art um symbolism what else have we got in here Rembrandt, Byzantine, you know, loads of periods of history there. So I'm really excited. 
about giving that a go. So I wanted to share that with you and um, I am going to be contacting the website to see if they want to do a little discount code with me or something like that because I think that um, you guys would really benefit from that and uh, it's it's really really cool. So um, pop back here and uh, I will see um, I'll see what we can do. Um, let me know uh, what you think about uh, those resources and if you've tried them before like let me know what you thought, how your kids liked them um, and I'm really looking forward to giving them a go. We will share the nature study and the coastal curriculum like bits that we're doing um, as and when we feel like filming them so you will get to see that as uh, in the recent poll you guys said you wanted to see more um of more real footage of me home educating the kids and the things that we get up to which is really cool um and you also said you wanted to see organization and planning now so from my perspective that will be um i say parenthood but i mean motherhood like things that i'm doing within my life to help me organize and organize myself and plan but if you are not a if you're not a mother if you're a father or a parent i'm not going to assume your situation then um it will work for you as well however saying parenthood planning sounds like something completely different so uh that's what well, that's why i uh, go with went with motherhood but um <laughs> Um, so it's going to be organisation and planning specifically around being a home educating mum and getting it all done, how I try and juggle everything and then how I plan out my time, how I plan out my days, my months and so on um, to try and get all of the things done that need to be done, who I delegate to, how I delegate um, and then yeah just how our house works and how we make it work because um, you know that laundry for example <laughs> that will be covered in a video as well of you know what we do and how we get everything sorted because of course we're here all the time there's no school uniform um that's you know just everyone wears that and then they only wear a few clothes items of clothing on the weekends or something like that you know um there's um a lot more a lot more stuff and a lot more things and clothes worn and all of that sort of stuff and a lot less time to do cleaning because um and housework because there's children here all the time who want to hang out with me or want to help and sometimes that's hindering and sometimes that's helping so that's something we're going to be talking about a little bit and it will be centered on my life as a home educating parent um rather than just like a general cleaning video or something like that i'm not going to start doing things like that um i don't think we will see however if i do do those they'll be incredibly real there'll be no oh look at my messy house it's actually spotless we're going to clean it now it'll be this is genuinely what it looks like and we're genuinely gonna get it sorted out and made normal um made tidy because we're not tidy people in this house um and we are not tidy people at all and i have three children who like to hoard things so yeah there'll be very real cleaning videos the dog is digging it's like right now I am turning um, the what was going to be the nursery into a craft room. I was calling it a lady cave, but apparently that sounds like something entirely different as well. So, <laughs> lady cave is what I've been trying to <laughs> try to go with, but loads of people keep telling me it sounds weird. So, um, yeah, so I'm trying to turn that into like a craft room, a filming room, an office, whatever you want to call it, like a space for me to just be that I can shut the door and everyone knows to just leave me be for a bit. Um, uh, so I'm working out what I'm going to take from our bedroom because all of our stuff was all of mine and Phil's stuff was stored in here my craft stuff my sewing stuff everything and I was like well let's move the all up there we're not going to be using it as a nursery for maybe ever um, so let's just use the room and I offered it to the kids I said the boys could have their own one of the boys could go in there and they could have their own rooms and they said no we want to share okay then offered it to Bessie because it's a bigger room she said no you worked really hard on my bedroom mummy I want to stay in my own bedroom and they all agreed that I should have the room as my space so I was like okay then and Phil was like yeah that's fine with me so he's he's uh he's agreed as well so uh we're in the I'm in the process of moving everything that I want in there up there so this room has become a bit of a dumping ground hence the overflowing laundry and so on and you can see the dog rummaging around or something I think she's found a bit of sandwich she's like nicked a bit of sandwich from one of the kids plates uh which is kind of symbolic of how our day is going so far it is 20 past 10 and everyone is still on screens because i'm exhausted and i wanted to come and chat to you guys so i'm gonna get them off screens now and uh, try and get on with our day which i'm not sure not gonna be a productive one i don't think <laughs> i will see you on friday uh, have a great week enjoy try and enjoy a wednesday try and enjoy your wednesday 
and uh, I will um yeah I'll see you on Friday for another video it's gonna be I think Charles is gonna be taking the lead on this video so you will actually talk to him and see him a bit more and I don't think I feature in it very much so see you then